This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, October 9th. I'm James Spann. We'll stay warm for the next several days, and like summer, we'll have the chance of a few scattered showers and storms about. But next week, we'll see a better chance of widespread rain early in the week, and then a nice shot of cool air. So for those waiting on a return to fall weather, hang on. Let's go in there and take a look uh, this morning. This is the water vapor satellite view. Got the upper low that lingers over eastern Canada, but a ridge beginning to build in from the southwest, a 588 ridge, and that's going to keep us warm with highs in the 80s through the weekend. Got a dense fog advisory for a pretty good chunk of central and south Alabama this morning, basically south of Interstate 20. Uh, to the north, we have a flash flood watch for much of Missouri, where some pretty big range will be developing in coming days. Uh, this is the convective outlook today and tonight. No risks defined. But the fact that we are in green, that means there could be a few storms around this afternoon and this evening. And then tomorrow, day two for Friday, we have the low-end 5% possibilities just north of here over parts of Tennessee and also off to the west of parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and extreme north Texas around Wichita Falls. Uh, that's in advance of a surface boundary dropping down to the south. Rain, yes, yeah, some really big numbers north of here. The bullseye is 7.3 inches just north of Tulsa, 6.1 inches near Paducah, Kentucky. And in our state, the numbers vary tremendously from almost three inches at the northwestern tip of the state down to a tenth of an inch at Dothan. And uh, this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. And uh, I do think we have a pretty good crack at some widespread rain by Monday, Monday night, maybe Tuesday morning. And that's some rain we could use, obviously. And the tropical weather scene, guys at NHC are watching that uh, little disturbance north of the Leeward Islands. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that, but more than likely, if anything forms there, it recurves. And the Gulf is very quiet. Great weather for the National Shrimp Festival in Gulf Shores. Goes on today through Sunday. Sunny days, fair nights, highs in the 80s. Check the modeling. This is the GFS, the... OZ run valid today at 1 o'clock local time. Again, the upper low is over eastern Canada, 588 Ridge, nosing in here from the southwest. And evidence of a warm front, a boundary trying to work northward across the state today. There's a surface low back in west Texas. And this is the high-resolution HER model today at 3 o'clock. And you can see uh, scattered showers and storms about, uh, basically north of a line from Tuscaloosa to Auburn. So we'll keep an eye on those. Uh, be hit and miss like yesterday, but a few folks will see some rain today. Other than that, very warm. Uh, both the NAM and the GFS are printing 89 today. That's 10 degrees above average. Now, tomorrow, a surface front is north of the state. And uh, again, we'll mention, you know, the chance of scattered showers and storms. Obviously, they should be more numerous over the Tennessee Valley closer to the front and especially late tomorrow and tomorrow night, some of the high school football stadiums, uh, stadiums might see a passing shower, so keep that in mind for the high school football games. And then this is Saturday. The front goes nowhere. It's it stalled out near Interstate 40 in Tennessee, but obviously we'll be in a fairly moist air mass, so we'll have the chance of scattered showers and storms. Uh, we've got... Uh, and we also, we should mention, with a wave developing over the Great Plains for football weather, Alabama's at Fayetteville, Arkansas, looks wet for their game. Take the rain gear. For the Auburn-Mississippi State game, a shower or storm possible, but it will be scattered in Starkville. And the same thing for the UAB homecoming game against North Texas. Uh, warm, uh, maybe a passing shower or storm, but the rain in Mississippi and Alabama should not be especially widespread. This is the... Uh, high-resolution NAM, uh, valid Saturday at 1 o'clock, and you can see a few little scattered showers and storms out there, but it's not that widespread. This is Sunday. A deeper surface low begins to organize over the Texas panhandle, and again, we are in a moist, unstable air mass, so we'll have the chance of scattered showers and storms, but uh, probably the more organized storms, again, north of us over Tennessee, now, this is Monday. This is a very deep trough digging in here from the west. And down below that, a 1,003 millibar low is developing over western Arkansas. And this could set the stage for strong, maybe severe storms, uh, perhaps Monday night or early Tuesday morning. Uh, this is Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. That surface low is 
just northeast of Memphis with a big old batch of rain and storms coming in here. Now, if if it comes in here, you know, early Tuesday morning at six o'clock, obviously the air is more stable at that point. But if it again, even at that hour, you might see some strong storms with dynamic support like that. So we'll be monitoring for signs of severe weather with this feature. And then by Tuesday at one o'clock, the rain begins to exit the state uh, near the Georgia border. So uh, this run is suggesting the big rains, the big widespread rain with this thing will be Monday night into Tuesday morning. And we could easily see rain amounts of one inch, and that's not isolated or widely scattered. This is widespread, and that's something we could certainly use. We don't see many events like that in October. And then Wednesday, a nice, cool, refreshing air mass drops in here. Uh, the high probably dropping back into the upper 60s. Uh, we should be in the 40s Wednesday morning, and Thursday of next week should be a gorgeous Gorgeous day. Very comfortable. Uh, lows probably in the 40s and highs up in the low 70s. We'll check the end of the forecast October 24th. We got broad troughing over the east. 540 line down into Kentucky. Cool air mass in place here. And evidence of a tropical system in the Atlantic being pushed out to the northeast. Temperatures for the next 15 days. We stay warm through uh, the weekend, but notice after that, it looks like October there with highs dropping into the low 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s on a consistent basis, and that's a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, if I have time, next video by 4 o'clock, I've got a uh, uh, live shot this evening that might prevent me from doing that. I'll make an effort at that. If nothing else, we'll have notes in the blog. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.